Mohammed Gudaji Kazaure, member representing Kazaure, Roni, Wiwa, and Enkwashi, Mr. Speaker, and from the Gaza State. Mr. Speaker, seriously, Mr. Speaker, seriously, Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleagues, this is not an issue of judging. Don't joke. We are talking about... The members around you are insisting that uh, we wear your mask. And then raise your voice. Mr. Speaker, people are talking about coronavirus. How many people coronavirus killed in Nigeria? You are talking about coronavirus. We are talking about bandit. In only a single day, they kill the people that, that pass. All the people die with corona in Nigeria. People they consider this corona as something. Put your mask. Put, block the state. Go at home. They lock, they shut down everything. We're not supposed to shut down, we're supposed to shut down this country for banditry, not Corona. Mr. Speaker, the black people are very strong. I don't believe it was any Corona. No Corona will touch me. Let, Mr. Speaker, seriously, what I believe in it is look at how we became serious in the issue of Corona in this country. Why won't government be serious in the issue of this killing as they treated corona? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, seriously, what, what is going? All what we are doing, welfare, project, everything that this government is doing to make sure that they do welfare or they, they, to, to, to show change in this government. This banditry, this insecurity is, is dissolving all our effort. Seriously, in this country, Mr. Speaker, what I observe, SSS are not doing their job. Because if bandits are coming from the forest to come inside the town, SSS is supposed to detect them and inform the military and police. The problem is, the problem is, people, these people are coming, Mr. Speaker, from the forest. And sometimes there was, sometimes information will reach to the security. But these people will still come, spend hours in a village. Hours, not minutes. Killing people, burning houses. They even, they will even relax there. And then they go. Then later on, security will go and begin carry cops. So, Mr. Speaker, in this government, in this government, all what we are doing in this government, people of this country are not giving us credit because of security. Because the best thing is to protect life and property of a human being. And if you come to the issue of economy, Mr. Speaker, these people Majority of the affected areas, they are the ones producing the food that we are eating in this country. 80% of the farmers cannot go farm. So in the next one year, Mr. Speaker, all what we have will finish. And we never farm what we eat in the future. And we put ban on importation. So, Mr. Speaker, what I fear is people of this country, now the common people are looking for us. So, gradually, if we allow this insecurity to continue, people will take law into their hands. And the people, they will begin to go to the houses of a, a well-being people and start attacking them to bring them put to it. Because gradually, if you go to the local area, the only thing, the security of our people is that farming. They will farm what they will eat. And it's because of that farming that this country stay in a peace. So seriously, Mr. Speaker, what I observe is the security, as they said, 
is embarrassed, is embarrassed to the Nigerian security, is embarrassment to the Nigerian security that a state governor are negotiating with the criminal to bring peace in his state because the security cannot tackle that thing. He has to beg them to stop killing people. He even promised to give them money. Where are the, Where are the money appropriated for arms? Where are the helicopters? What the Air Force are doing? These people, they are coming in the daytime in bikes. They will send them 200 on bikes. You can just bomb them with helicopter in five minutes. Where are the intelligent? So seriously, Mr. Speaker, it's embarrassing to negotiate with the criminal is an embarrassment to our security in this country. And what I observe, sir, Air Force, Army, and police, they're supposed to be serious and take them. If you send somebody who's AK-47 to attack a bandit who's AK-47, and some bandit, they have even GPMGs. So, Mr. Speaker, you are, the security are not ready to tackle that thing. As you take tankers, tankers, sophisticated tankers, to Sambisa, that is what the army is supposed to take to this our forest. Surround our forest with tankers, enter that forest, flush this those idiots, and, and finish them. But as far as they say, they will take hillocks and go on patrol just inside the city. These people, these people, they are living inside the forest and they are there. So even security are serious. Why can't they surround that place with tankers, helicopters, up and down? They will finish them in less than seven days. So seriously, Mr. Speaker, if security are serious, they will tackle this. Thank you very much. kaman magana da kai ta motoci a matsayi na na wanda yake da sani a bangaren fito na so a ce gwamnati ta tsare bodoji amma a ci gaba da kawo motoci ana biyan duti domin mutanen mu masu karamin karbi wasu ba su da ikon zuwa kasashen waje a kwata na suke zuwa su yi mota su seda mu dai abin da muke bukata a biya duti so wannan kullu boda da wajen bangaren motoci kamata yayi bai kamata a rufe bodar ba kamata yayi abubuwan da ba a so a shigo da su a hana shigo da su abubuwan da ba a hana ba 